Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about some important MCQs related to spinal anesthesia. So this is the part one based on MCQ, which contains 20 MCQs. In next part, we will discuss another questions. So let's get start the video. First question, how many meningeal coverings are there or spinal cord? Options are 5, 4, 3, 2. Correct answer for this question is C. There are three meningeal coverings outside the spinal cord. First is dura mater that is outer, second is arachnoid mater that is middle and last is pi mater which is inner lining. Second question, sequence of layers that are pierced in spinal anesthesia, arrange these in proper sequence, skin, ligamentum, flavum, subcutaneous tissue, supraspinous ligament, intraspinous ligament, epidural space, dura mater, arachnoid mater, subarachnoid space. So the correct sequence is skin, then subcutaneous tissue, then supraspinous ligament, then infraspinous ligament, then ligamentum flavum, then epidural space, then dura mater, then arachnoid mater, and then subarachnoid space. Third question, which layer is not passed in spinal anesthesia? First option, dura mater. Second option, arachnoid mater. Third option, pi mater. Last option is epidural space. Guess the answer of this question. So the correct answer is C, pi mater. Fourth question, most resistance is found in crossing of which layer? Options are dura mater, supraspinous ligament, infraspinous ligament, and ligamentum flavum. So guess the answer. Correct answer for this question is ligamentum flavum. In piercing the ligamentum flavum, we found most of the resistance. Now it's fifth question. In which layer does CSF exist? Cerebrospinal fluid, epidural space, subdural space, subarachnoid space, or pyometer? Guess the answer. So the correct answer for this question is subarachnoid space. Cerebral spinal fluid is exist in subarachnoid space, which exists just below the arachnoid matter. Now sixth question. Confirmation sign that the needle is in correct spinal space. Now you can inject the drug. Loss of resistance will be feel in that space. Clear fluid CSF really flows out of the catheter of spinal needle. Blood weight comes out of the catheter. Bony appearance will be found. Correct answer is clear fluid CSF freely flows out of the catheter of spinal needle. So as we know, spinal drug is injected in the subarachnoid space and in subarachnoid space there is CSF. So when we reach the subarachnoid space, the CSF will start to flow out. So this acts as a confirmation sign that our spinal needle is in correct spinal space. Now next question, correct properties of CSF. So in this question, we have to answer the following properties of CSF. First is where it is formed in, second what is the color of CSF, third what is the specific gravity of CSF, fourth what is the appearance of CSF, fifth total volume present in body, sixth formation rate in body, seventh what is the CSF pressure. So let's answer these questions. It is formed in choroid plexus of third, fourth and lateral ventricles of brain. Next question what is the color, answer is it is colorless. Third question, what is the specific gravity? Its specific gravity is 1.003 to 1.008. Next question, appearance. It is clear watery fluid. Next, total volume present in body at a time. 150 ml is the answer. Next, formation rate in body. 500 ml per day. Next question, what is the CSF pressure? It is 10 to 18 cm S2O in lying position. Next question, what is the standard technique for spinal needle insertion in lumbar region? Options are perpendicular technique 90 degree from the skin. Second option, cephalate technique 10 to 15 degree upward angle from skin. Third option, needle is inserted 45 degree from skin. Fourth option, needle is inserted 30 degree from the skin. Answer to this question is perpendicular technique 90 degree from the skin. This is a standard technique that is used most widely to provide spinal anesthesia. Next question, when does cephalard needle insertion technique is used? Options are in patients with steeped and angled spinous process. Option B, in case of using pyramidian approach. Option C, in case of difficult midline. Option D, all of these. Correct answer for this question is all of these. In all these conditions, cephalard technique is used to provide spinal anesthesia. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच स्टैंडर्ड अप्रोच इज यूज फॉर स्पाइनल नीडल इंसर्शन ऑप्शन आर पैरामिडियन अप्रोच सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज मिड लाइन अप्रोच सो गैस द आंसर आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज मिड लाइन अप्रोच मिड लाइन अप्रोच इज स्टैंडर्डली यूज इन प्रोवाइडिंग स्पाइनल एनस्थीसिया नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वैन डज पैरामिडियन अप्रोच इज सेलेक्टेड इंस्टेड ऑफ मिड लाइन टेक्निक ऑप्शन आर इन एल्डर पेशेंट्स हुज लिगामेंट्स आर कैल्सिफाइड एंड दस इट इज हार्डर टू पुश द नीडल इन साइड सेकेंड ऑप्शन इन स्पाइन रिलेटेड कॉम्प्लिकेशन लाइक स्कोलियोसिस काइपोसिस एंकाइलोसिंग स्पॉन्डिलाइटिस थर्ड ऑप्शन इन ऑबीज पेशेंट्स ड्यू टू डिपोजिशन ऑफ एक्सेसिव एडिपोज टिश्यू डी ऑप्शन इन केस ऑफ मल्टीपल फेलियर्स थ्रू मिड लाइन टेक्निक एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज ऑल ऑफ दिस सो द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल ऑफ दिस इन ऑल दिस कंडीशन पैरामिडियन टेक्निक इज प्रीफर्ड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट आर द स्टेप्स ऑफ पैरामिडियन अप्रोच आंसर स्टेप वन Identify the lower border of spinous process. Step second, insert the spinal needle one to one point five centimeter lateral to the midline. Step three, angle the needle medially and slightly cephalad to ten to fifteen degree. Step four, advance the needle through paraspinal muscles, ligamentum flavum, dura mater, arachnoid and subarachnoid. And the last step, CSF free flow occurs. Now inject the drug. Next question what is Staffier's line option A a line connecting the anterior superior iliac spine option B a line joining sacral highest point option C horizontal line connecting the highest points of iliac crest option D a line from zephyr process to umbilicus correct answer is horizontal line connecting the highest points of iliac crest next question why tuffier's line is clinically important for anesthesiologist option a it is connecting link between highest point of iliac crest option b it typically crosses l4 vertebrae which makes it helpful to det detect correct spinal space to anesthesiologist option c it marks the end of spinal cord option d it is safe site for iv cannulation so guess the answer the correct answer for this question is it typically crosses l4 vertebrae which makes it helpful to detect correct spinal space to an anesthesiologist note in pediatrics tuffier's line mainly crosses l3 vertebrae 15th question in which position spinal anesthesia is given options are sitting position prone position lateral dubiquitous position and the last option both a and c correct answer for this question is both a and c most commonly used position is sitting lateral position is used in obese patients pediatric patients and traumatized patients who can't sit properly due to pain next question proper positioning setup for sitting position in spinal anesthesia option a patient is sitting in upright position option b legs are hanging or placed straight on ot table option c back curved outside correct answer for this question is all of these all of these positioning setups have to be done for proper positioning in spinal anesthesia next question most commonly chosen site for spinal anesthesia is options are t10 to t12 option b t12 to l3 option c l4 l5 or l3 l4 option d l1 l2 correct answer for this question is l4 l5 or l3 l4 Next question most commonly chosen site for spinal anesthesia in pediatric patients options are T10 to T12 option B T12 to L3 option C L4 to L5 option D L3 to L4 the correct answer for this question is L4 to L5 because in pediatric patients spinal cord ends at L2 region so to prevent any kind of damage to spinal cord it is given in L4 to L5 region next question most preferred method for spinal set sterilization options are otero one option b autoclave option c plasma option d eto correct answer for this question is autoclave and the last question of this video is which solution is used for cleaning the area for spinal anesthesia procedure options are betadine 7.5 percent scrub solution option b betadine 10 percent solution option c alcohol 100% solution and the last option is normal saline correct answer for this question is betadine 10% solution so thank you for watching this video in next part we will discuss another important questions for spinal anesthesia